JPMRC is very important for us in our warfighting skill. Uh, this is a force on force. The entire division is deployed uh, to the field and we're conducting uh, large scale combat operations. And we, to deter threats, we have to show that capability that we can do this uh, in the harshest environment on the planet and, and still win the fight. So that's why it's really important. And it gives us a chance to uh, put our soldiers and all our leaders to the test uh, in the harshest conditions. Well, we did two big air assault type operations with helicopters. One, we did a deep attack about 100 miles with attack aviation battalion that had to weave in and out of uh, terrain and low levels and uh, avoid uh, air defense emitters that were out to do a deep attack in the enemy. That's typically not done uh, in, uh, in live and we did that live and it was a great training event for our aviators as well as all the planners to take uh, that in effect. Because when we go do uh, war, we do not have air supremacy and air superiority all the time. We're going to have to penetrate uh, for a period of time. That uh, led way to the air assault, which was also equally as long. About 15 ships uh, uh, lifted in about two battalions worth of force in an air assault. Again, you've got to be able to do that under, under dress, under, under fire. But we were able to do both of those exercises today. So. Or, or this week uh, with uh, also our joint partners with the Canadians, with the Air Force, uh, with the Marines, uh, showing that capability and actually doing it very successfully in very tough, very windy uh, conditions, we were able to knock those things out. We're putting ourselves to the rigors of combat testing out here. So we've got a force on force, professional op four that's doing uh, its best to uh, prevent the uh, blue four uh, from uh, being successful and uh, there's a lot of free play going on, a lot of fires uh, and a lot of uh, you know multi-domain capabilities that are being put to use. We're not just talking about it, we're actually doing it. And so I think what's really important is to show because we don't want war trying to deter it and uh, deterrence comes from showing a capability that you have. Today at PMRC we stretch the whole breadth of the state of Alaska from Anchorage all the way up to the top of the United States of America and Udiavik, also known as Barrow, Alaska, uh, inside, deep inside the Arctic Circle. So not only do we do a deep attack, aviation attack, uh, we also did a deep air assault. Uh, we did a JFEO airborne insertion of a Brigade Minus, and then we did a 500 mile out of sector mission high rain, which is the rapid infill of the HIMARS uh, rocket system into Udiavik on the north slope. So not only are we doing everything we're uh, uh, doing in a normal CT with maneuver and uh, our, our fixed wing, our rotor wing and all that, but we're also doing things uh, to uh, show our capabilities in and around the entire state of Alaska. So the newest division in the Army uh, just over the last uh, couple of years here has really grown up a bit. So this CTC, this combat uh, training rotation that we just did, we had the entire division staff, the division main and the DTAC out in the field conducting this uh, command and control mission command throughout the entire uh, entity. Uh, couldn't do that a year ago. Uh, are doing that now. And not only is it just uh, the division, but our partners. Uh, we have a battalion of Canadians from the Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry is here. We've got a platoon from Mongolia. We've got 18 different nations coming in and observe and see how we're doing this. We're very close with our Arctic friends up in Finland, Sweden, and Norway, and Canada. And they're all here uh, helping us uh, get better get stronger and, and more unified as, uh, as allies and partners wherever we're needed to go, whether it's in the Indo-Pacific, it's in the Arctic, or globally, the 11th Airborne Division is ready. Airborne operation went very well, all right? Great opportunity for us to show the incredible versatility of this uh, uh, division, all right? Our ability to conduct a uh, joint uh, uh, entry operations, all right, really uh, showcase our ability uh, to open the theater for uh, all forces that come behind us, okay? We are the only, uh, or 2nd Brigade is the only brigade in the Pacific, all right, with that capability, all right? And we really highlighted our, our ability to do that through that airborne operation. In the end, you never really know whether something works whether, until you test it in the actual environment. 
So when it comes to the Arctic all the time, we've seen across our enterprise, they'll take it to the cold chamber or they'll take it someplace else and then they'll take it out here and it doesn't work, right? And so when we have these opportunities, when we do sustained combat exercises, right, where we're actually in the field, living in this environment, in the constant uh, evolution of it, we get the real test to understand, all right, whether these capabilities will work and what we have to change or modify to make them work. And we provide that not just for our forces, but for the entirety of the Army, you know. Uh, we had the opportunity earlier before this exercise to uh, do the next gen squad weapon test, a number of others, right, and it's provided uh, excellent feedback back to the uh, acquisition and back to our uh, developers to make sure that we're getting the right equipment here. Because without the right equipment, we can't be successful. So at the squad down, at the individual soldier level, right, the ability to understand how to fight, thrive, live, survive in this environment cannot be replicated in any other environment, right? Like why JPMRC is incredibly important is because the soldiers have to operate in the environment that they're potentially going to have to fight in. They have to learn the field craft and all the other things that make them experts and capable of doing these things across a sustained, uh, a sustained period of time. All right, and that's what we do here in JPMRC. When they air assault in, all right, there's nobody coming to get them. There's no warming hut, there's no anything else, right? They've got to learn how to take care of themselves, how to move, how to shoot, how to communicate, and how to get after it. And they do that right here. This is our opportunity at brigade and below from all levels, starting at brigade all the way down to the platoon level and to the squad level for them to maneuver their forces, all right, as they actually would in combat and then to get the feedback that tells them where they're making mistakes and where they're not, right? It's all about uh, getting that sweat in now so we don't pay in blood later on. And you can only do that in these kinds of environments.